I'm Sadie Herman, and I'm here with our guest speaker at WCRC Action News. So, what's your name? My name is Mark Hirsch. That's cool. What city are you from? I'm from Somerville, Massachusetts. Can you explain to all the viewers watching our news segment details about your job title? Yes, I'm a music and pop culture critic. I write for the Boston Globe, for NPR, for MSNBC, uh, a bunch of different places. I've had my, uh, I've had my uh, work published in a bunch of different magazines and newspapers. That's really cool. What is the most exciting aspects during your job? Well, the most exciting thing is that basically I get paid to go do the things that I love to do. I always, before I did, before I wrote about music professionally, I was always buying CDs, I was always going to concerts, um, and now somebody's paying me to go, to go do those things and share with people how I, how I liked them or how I didn't like them. Um, so I get to uh, do the things that I love and I get to talk about the things that I love at the same time. That's really cool. What made you pursue your dreams being at the level you are at today? Well, I'd been writing about music for probably about 13 years since I was in college. I started writing uh, for a college newspaper and sort of kept it up uh, doing little things here and there online. Um, and eventually I just reached a point where I just sort of wondered if it was possible that I could turn this into an actual career. Um, and uh, just sort of really on a whim, I uh, tried to see if the Boston Globe would be interested in letting me write for them, and they were. And from there, I was able to sort of um, make connections with other places until uh, I you know, met somebody who wrote for NPR and then could write, start writing for them as well. And so really, it was just sort of a, a point where I realized, uh, let's just see what happens if I try and do this, um, yeah, like a little, bit, a little bit more professionally. That's really interesting. Can you briefly explain your experience being on, oh, like writing for the Boston Globe and being in writing for NPR? Yeah, it's great. Um, it can be a little bit stressful at times because I really have to write a lot faster than I was ever used to before I started uh, doing it professionally. Uh, before I was doing it professionally, I could really take, uh, in some cases, as long as I wanted to write about uh, an album, uh, write about a concert that I'd been to. But really, the uh, once you start doing it professionally, you have to, the turnaround time is much, much quicker. Uh, when I write, when I review a concert, my, re my deadline is usually noon the next day. Um, sometimes, like the concert that I reviewed last night for the Boston Pops uh, for the 4th of July show, my review was due at 11.30 last night. So as soon as the concert ended, I had to run uh, to the press trailer, start, just open up my computer and just start writing. Um, so it can be very, it can be very stressful, but it's also very exciting because everything, it's just, um, it's just so fast and you just have to write uh, how you feel without worrying, without spending so much time worrying about whether or not you're, what you're writing is right or whether or not what you're writing is wrong. You just start to trust uh, your instincts. Yeah, well, and that's like, those are some good obstacles so, that you have to do. Um, you just wrote an article called Pop and the Guests Compete with Threat of July's Fourth Storm. Can you talk about how the event was on the Fourth of July? Yes, uh, last night I reviewed the, uh, the, the Boston Pops 4th of July concert down at the Hat Shell. And it was actually, this was the fifth year that I've done this. Uh, so I've reviewed this particular concert um, a lot. This was the first year that we've ever had a weather interruption. So it was actually very, it was very, um, it was very strange because of the fact that I found myself with a 45 minute uh, break that I hadn't intended I hadn't expected to have and also they had to cut out a lot of the concert so if you're watching at home uh, what you actually saw was footage from the July 3rd um, concert they do two concerts one on July 3rd one on July 4th and they tape them both so that if there's a problem as there was last night they'll just switch to the July 3rd show so that the television broadcast still goes on um, and uh, so it was it was uh, it was very it was very unusual for me to have to figure out what was going on, how to write a review of a concert that uh, was incomplete. Uh, but the concert itself was really good. Uh, so I you know, talked about the interruption, but also tried to make sure that I also uh, talked about all the people who actually came, showed up to perform, 
and uh, really put their uh, put their all into entertaining the 500,000 people or so that showed up on the Esplanade. Um, um, so what do you like about the Charles River Creative Arts Program in Dover, Massachusetts? I think it's great. I've, um, I've got actually one of the reasons I'm here is because I've got so many friends who, who teach here and who work here. Um, I think it's great. I never uh, really attended a creative arts uh, camp like this and just to see so many different uh, classes, so many different things that are available to you. You guys are doing um, you know, video editing, news, we've got people doing the newspaper, you've got people doing music, which you can, I don't know if you're, the microphone is picking it up, but I can hear it right over my shoulder. You've got people doing all sorts of things. Um, I know there's comedy classes, like all, all these things that I would love, uh, would have loved as a kid to just sort of jumped in and uh, taken advantage of. So I just, I think it's great that uh, there are so many people, so many things available to you guys, and everybody that I've met so far has seemed super enthusiastic about about all the things that you're learning, which is which is awesome. Yeah, there's lots of variety here. So do you have anything else you would like to say to the campers and staff? Well, I just want to thank them for inviting me. I think that it's uh, it's been it's been really eye-opening as a uh, as someone who who writes to see all these uh, the writing class, the newspaper class that I went to, seeing everybody who's enthusiastic about that. I think that it's great that you guys are doing what you guys are doing here. Um, and I just keep up the good work. Thank you, Mark Hirsch, and back to you in the studio.